show another video, boys. It's going to be about who about the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets. I thought it was going to be about the Detroit Pistons. No, it's not. It's about the Hornets. About the Hornets. And let's see what Buggy has to say about the Hornets for uh, 10 minutes now. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So, this video will be about the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah. I heard that weird show. First, let's start off. What do you think? What's the first thing you think of the Hornets? I say trash. Comment what you, what you think the Hornets. Because they could be like uh, many stuff. Trash, garbage, everything. Kemba, and yeah. We'll get to their all-time lineup. See you there. Let's go get in. So, the Hornets. The first thing you think of, trash. All-time team. Maybe trash, but all time like if they were playing, if their all time team was playing right now, right now, I would say an eight seed. What? That means they're trash. Uh huh. So, point guard, everyone knows Kemba Walker. Shooting guard, Del Curry, the Curry, Curry's dad. And then, small forward, Glenn Rice. Power forward, Larry Johnson, and center is I'm sorry for that pause I just couldn't remember but they have no really good centers I have to go with Al Jefferson he's been I think he was an all-star I don't know but Al Jefferson for sure next let's talk about no now let's talk about their stats Kemba 23 points six assists three rebounds good offensively leader probably the leader of their team second best Maybe first best. You could debate about Kemba or Larry Johnson. But, yeah. 23 points. Probably right. And then, uh, shooting guard. Del Curry. 12 points. 6 rebounds. And maybe, like, 4, four assists. 4 assists. And then, now, let's get into Glenn Rice. Main defensive player are Larry Johnson. Don't know. Al Jefferson could sometimes be in there. Glenn Rice, probably. 1980. 19 to 18 points, and then 7 rebounds, probably, yeah, 7 rebounds, and then 4 assists, 4 to 5 assists. He's their, probably their, not their main scorer, probably he's like a wing player, he's a small forward, he can score from literally anywhere, he, not score from anywhere, he could shoot the 3 ball pretty well, he's a 2 way, uh, two -way player, and he could also... Maybe like he could he he's a good free throw shooter too, yeah. So he's a good free throw shooter, I guess. Yeah, and he's probably like a Kyle Korver, but mm, better a better Kyle Korver, and then a uh, worse KD and bigger KD. He's play he's a he could be a good leader too. You know why? Because he's played with a lot of good talent. He's played with Kobe. He's played with Shaq. He's played with Dwayne Wade. He's played with so many good players. Boom. Next, we'll go to Larry Johnson. Main player of the team, 26 points, probably 10 rebounds, and like five, four assists. He's their main leader. You would probably say Kemba, but he can't lead a team. As you see, when he was on the Hornets, he wasn't doing that good on the Hornets because he couldn't lead them past the first round at least. When I was when I was younger, for some reason, I would always think the Hornets were the second best team behind the Warriors. Cause the Warriors are my favorite team, wearing the clay jersey right now. And yeah, so now I just thought Kemba was good, but then as we move on, Kemba just couldn't lead that team, lead that team anymore. They were always an eight seed for some reason. I don't know why they couldn't pat. They couldn't beat the Washington Wizards. They're the team that was. I think they were the four seed. Yeah, but they, they couldn't be the Washington Wizards in some years when they were the seventh seed. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to Al Jefferson. Al Jefferson's probably going to average 8 points, 12, 11 rebounds, and 2 assists. He's not that average big man. He's probably like a Rudy Gobert. Worst defense. Does not have that good defense. And, uh... Almost a Rudy Gobert's better rebounder, but and a better score. So probably a poor man's Rudy Gobert, I would say. So now let's get into 
right now. Let's go. The three players we will be talking about in this video for the Hornets, Devontae Graham, Terry Rogier, and P.J. Washington, maybe Malik Monk, and, yeah, Malik Monk. So, first off, let's talk about Malik Monk. He's like an ad eh player. He's probably going to leave because he could probably, he's a starter for sure. In my opinion, and not maybe not for your opinion, he could average eleven. He's averaging eleven points. That's good for a shooting guard. Can he? That's like an average sh shooting guard. They would average like eleven points, like Duncan Robinson. That's his. Yeah, that's probably him. He's more of a Duncan Robinson, but worse score, worse a three point shooter. So I think he's gonna leave and in a package trade with uh, Malik Monk, Miles Bridges. And, ooh, I can't say it. Uh, Willie Hernan Gomez for, oh, shoot. Eastern Conference might get mad because the Hornets, the one team, it's going to be a battle for the eight seed. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This trade is going to be bad. Yeah, you already heard the player yet. The Hornets are trading. He's going to the Spurs for DeMar DeRozan. I just have to say, you know what? It fits better for that team. They get a small for that they have. They've a leader that they've always need. A player that could lead. They could who could lead a team can score pretty well. Like everyone calls him M the next MJ. He plays like MJ, but no, he's not going to be the next MJ. I'm sure he's going to average probably 22 points on that team. Maybe 23. Yeah, 23. I would say 23 points. And then now let's get into P.J. Washington. I think he's going to stay. You could build around some of those players on that team that are young. They're building around the, that young talent, and boom. Now let's get into, yeah, first P.J. Yeah, PJ Washington. He's going to stay. His prime is going to be 14 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, and 0 0.9 steals. That's my prediction. So now let's move on to Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier, they, if they want to trade him, they can. I don't care. I feel uh, he's not one of the worst players. I, I, I like him as a player. He's good. There's nothing wrong with him. And, yeah, you could trade him or keep him. I would prefer to keep him, but, yeah, you could keep him. Yeah, I would keep him, though. Just keep him. Just keep him. They could actually build around him. Him and Devontae Graham, that would be a good duo. They could probably not be the one of the best, but they could be the average one. Like, yeah, he, Terry Rozier could turn into uh, Drew Holiday, but better offense than him. And Drew, and not that good defense. They they could actually work on that defense if they get a better coach that could teach defense. If they get a defensive coach, that's going to be good. They're gonna, they could teach that team how to play defense for, for, for the first time. They've never learned how to play defense from the past this day. So, in his prime, he would average 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Okay, this prediction is not that good for defense. 0 0.8 blocks. I just think he could probably get some blocks up. And then, 1.0 steals. This is his prime. So, I'm just saying, this probably, he would, the only one that's close is probably the, the what's it called, the steals. In the defense averages. Uh, yeah, so now let's move on to Devontae Grant. Boom. He's going to be an all-star in about three years or something. Build around him. That team is going to be good. So, if you keep him, his prime will be 24 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds, 1.5 seals, and 0. Point seven blocks see as you see if my predictions are sometimes right like yeah so if you just keep Devontae Graham he you, people might say he's trash just because he plays for the Hornets and no one watches the Hornets but guess what he's good he averaged 18.3 points per game last season his first season uh he averaged 4.3 I would give him rookie of the year. Uh, I mean, uh, D, uh, most approved player. Maybe you could give it to Brandon Ingram, but guess what? 
he stepped that team up a lot. If they didn't have him, or if if Kemba was on that team, Devontae Graham would never even be uh, good. So technically, Brandon Ingram had to get. I would actually give it to Brandon Ingram. Devontae Graham had had to take a starting role to be that to get that most improved player. Just saying. So yeah, I think so. They're li they're probably going to be a playoff contender by twenty twenty seven. 2025. I would say they're tied with the Hawks. The, the Hawks will have to build chemistry. The Cavs, not really, because they have the young talent. And then the Hornets, they are. The Knicks, they, I don't know. I forgot the Knicks, but yeah. And then, oh yeah, the Knicks were 2032 because they just need to build up more players. And then, you know why I think this? Because. <laughs> Because they can build chemistry, like, really quick with DeMar. He can build chemistry with literally anyone. He can build chemistry with, with LaMarcus Aldridge and Kyle Lowry. If they, put, if they just try and trade for Kyle Lowry, I would love that. That would be a good team. Devontae Graham could actually just come off the bench, no cap. But I would not prefer to get Kyle. I would prefer to get Kyle Lowry if you want that team to be a playoff contender by 2023. I would do that and put Terry Rozier on off the bench. That would be a good idea. But I have another trade. It's for a, another big man. I would trade Rashawn Holmes and for you know, Cody Zeller for Rashawn Holmes. That's a good trade. Now, yeah, let's go. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. It's Aiden's video. Then my next video is going to be about the Detroit Pistons. Stay tuned. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. And see ya.